Hey, hold on, though. Party ring? Oh, I like a party ring. Do you know my dad worked for Fox's Biscuits? Mm. So we always had a plentiful supply of these. Just 25 calories a biscuit. Go on, then. You will do? Mm. Well, in honour of your dad, I think, we should all raise a biscuit, don't you? Go on, then. <laughs> you like it a lot, don't you? It's some of your best work, honestly, Bob. A lovely spot in it, so yeah, it is. The Lee up here and in certain places is it's a chalk stream. Yeah, yeah. And you know, there aren't many of those in the world. And do you know one of the guardians of our chalk streams is an unlikely person. Fergus Shark, yeah, you saw it, isn't I? Oh I from under top. Oh, yes. And he's very hot on conservation. What well, like he's an activist. He's an activist. And I got in touch with him and uh, we're gonna meet him. Fergal Sharky on the Fergal bank. Fergal Sharky on the bank. Well, I look forward to that. It'll be so difficult not to sing Teenage Kicks or My Perfect Cousin, won't yeah. it? Yeah. Fergal, you're a sort of <laughs> unlikely champion of the chalk stream, aren't you? Well, that, that's incredibly gracious of you mm. to say. Chalk streams have the most pristine water in the planet. Mm. It yeah. spends anything from a six months to 60 years filtering through chalk. Yeah. So you suddenly have this phenomenally clean, pristine water. Mm. And we are treating them really, really badly. Yeah. We're simply taking all the water out of them. And secondly, believe it or not, dumping raw sewage into them on a monotonously regular basis. You can dump raw sewage into chalk I streams? Have, uh, last year, we dumped 39 million tonnes of sewage into the Ooh. River Thames alone. Just directly in? Yeah. I think it's probably at that stage now where, yeah. you know what, mate, if we don't do something, mm. we're going to lose them and we're going to yeah. lose them in the next three or four years, yeah. if not sooner. Understood. Being a lippy Irishman... No, surely not. ..and clearly having some practice in standing behind a microphone <laughs> and being very loud, yeah. I suddenly thought, well, Fergal, you know what? If anybody cares that you still stood on the stage and sang yeah. and is prepared to listen for two minutes, yeah. well, you better get up and start saying something and kicking up a fuss. Yeah. I'm glad someone's taken the battle, Fergal. Yeah. Do you know, we have a, a shared sort of um, history in a way, though, because I actually auditioned for a band called That Petrol Emotion. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> to, to explain this one, Bob, uh, <laughs> when I left the Undertones, a couple of the guys set up this band called That, that Petrol, Petrol Emotion. Emotion. Yeah. So clearly like, didn't get up. I didn't pass the audition. Go on, To be one. honest, to be honest, <laughs> Fergal, I went in and I was slightly, so I was beat. slightly enhanced. Every time if you know what I mean. <laughs> Go on. Another girl in the neighbourhood. I wish she's, she's mine. She looks so good. I wanna hold her, hold her, wanna hold her tight. Get teenage kicks right through the night. All right, all right. <laughs> Bob, you don't seem very happy. What's the matter? Huh? You don't. You seem a bit down. Yeah, I'm a bit down. That's okay. What about if they liked or subscribed to uh, Bob and Paul's YouTube channel? Would that cheer you up a bit? Yeah, that would help a bit. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, then. See if you can cheer Bob up a little bit by liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel. I might even get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs>